Hey everybody, welcome back! Here we go. This is the one. The smell review. <laughs> the scent review, or whatever you want to call it. But you know, you guys know me. I will give you my honest opinion. If I think something is horrible, I will tell you it's horrible. Um, but I will also try to tell you, you know, what the, I guess, you know, the fragrance tones and stuff like that are. Um, because for me, I understand that everybody likes the same scents. And so, I mean, I'm not going to like everything you guys like, vice versa and all that. But, you know, it's fun to go through and just check out the new scents and see, you know, what there is. Okay, the first one is Vanilla Bean Buttercream, which I have smelled before and I do like. So, at least I used to. Yep, smells just like um, Vanilla Buttercream. <laughs> I mean, you get, like frosting that's got like the vanilla bean and it's got that sweet smell it's exact totally right on par with that i got a little bucket here i'm dropping them into so i don't pick up the same ones over and over okay this one is silver bells another one i've smelled before this is a holiday scent this one again it's a it's, this is a nice light one if you're not wanting something super strong i'm trying to think it's got just maybe a touch of like a mint in there or something but it's, it's a really nice, soft scent. I'm uh, just trying to think of what the fragrance would be close to for this one. Uh, I'm not sure, but it does have that little bit of just like a hint of mint with this, uh, like a nice freshness. I guess that's a good word for freshness. Okay. Maybe we'll get a new one here. This one here. Okay, this one is Homestead Holiday. Hey, and I'm wearing my Urban Homestead shirt so this works never smelt this one before so okay it i like it it's a stronger scent it's got a kind of a freshness in it but it almost has like um like a wood smoky kind of scent thing going on too it would be like you know if you had you know, the fireplace going and maybe have some florally. I mean, I know it's really hard to describe. I should probably pull the book out and read the descriptions on these as I go along because it would help. But yeah, I like it. Again, it's it's not, it's it's a stronger scent, but it's not crazy strong. It's almost got like a rain smell to it too, I guess. It's, it's different, but I do really, really like it. All right, we've got sea salt and avocado, which I tried with the hands um, lotion that I got in my reinstatement kit, and I loved it. So hopefully this is the same should be. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It is so fresh. It is almost. I mean, I would the avocado to me smells almost a little more grassy than a normal avocado would, but it is super fresh. This would be great in like a bathroom, kitchen, stuff like that. Okay, Stroop Waffle Delight. Never smelt this one. This could be interesting. Oh, yeah. Very caramely. Yeah, you get that cracker cookie-like smell. I'm not a huge bakery scent person as far as fragrances go. I like baking things, and I like the smell of them, but for some reason, just in the wax, it just, it's not my favorite thing. But it does smell just like that. It's got a nice little vanilla touch to it as well. So that's a good one. I mean, it's not one I would probably warm, but it isn't, you know, it isn't terrible. Cinnamon Bear had this one before. Very strong cinnamon -y scent, like cinnamon candies. It's that's pretty much what you're getting with Cinnamon Bear. All right, here we go. Evergreen and Grapefruit. Now, that could be interesting. That's a combination. Yeah, and it just smells like grapefruits and ever like pine i don't hate it though <laughs> i don't it's a re, just a resounding review that i don't hate it it's actually kind of growing on me i think warm this would actually be a really nice holiday scent <laughs> i don't hate it all right here we go um butter pecan i'm not sure if i've smelled this one before but i love the butter pecan ice cream is one of my favorites so oh yeah and that smells just like it it's got that like warm, buttery, you know, toasted pecan scent. Really nice. I actually do like that one. All right, let's keep going here. 
Luna. Smelled this one before. Yep, very fresh. It's just, it's a very nice, um, I, I call it like a feminine scent. I really like it. Again, I've smelled that one. It's pretty standard from Rehab. Dancing Sugar Plums. Okay. Never smelled this one, so. Ooh. I like it. I love that plum smell in there, and it's got a little bit of that sweetness. That one's nice. I really like that one. That was a good one. Word. Here we go. We might have to do this in two parts because it's going to take a while. Clean Breeze. I've smelled this one before. Yep. It smells like Tide to me. It's very, I mean, I'm not a big fan. It's strong. If you want something, my little cover's cracked a little. If you want something super strong to like cover up, you know, bathroom or whatever, this is a good one for you. All right. Here we go. Very Merry Cranberry. I've smelled this one before too. I like it. It's got that nice cranberry scent. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's a very nice holiday Christmassy scent. Okay. Just for you. Like F-I-R. So um, I'm assuming it's going to be like an evergreen. Oh, it's really light. Very light. If you're somebody who wants like that evergreen smell, but you don't want your whole house smelling like a Christmas tree, this is it. This is super light. So it would be just barely there that kind of scent so that one's for you just for you <laughs> i didn't even try to do that okay very snowy spruce i love this one this was actually sorry my nose it's just from putting these up here um this was my favorite like christmas tree scent when i left yeah i still like it, it it's got that really nice um spruce smell and it's just got a freshness to it it's not super strong like some of them even though those are nice too. Perfectly pomegranate. It's old standby here. Yep. Actually, I think they improved it. I never thought it smelled that good before. I like it. It's a, it's fresher smelling now. Before, I think it had more of a sweet smell. So maybe, I don't know. Sun kissed citrus, another standby. Very citrusy. If you love that citrus scent, this is one for you. It, it's, it's got like an orange and almost lemon mix to it. It's very nice. A little sweetness, but not too much. Okay, this one is Marvel Nine Realms. Okay, so this must be one of their um, their Disney Marvel collab things. I don't know. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I gotta say, it's kind of musky. Not a big fan of the musky smells. If you know me, you know that much. It's yeah, it's, it's just the musk is killing me on this one. Maybe a little patchouli in there? I'm not sure. I do not like patchouli, people. Oh my gosh, no. Mm -mm, not my scent. Okay, sheer leather. This one, again, has been around. Smells just like leather, like if you have a leather jacket. Leathered leather, oh God. That one is not my thing. Okay, seriously, I, you guys seen, I did not look. And it is weathered leather. I'm not smelling this one. I have smelled this before. I do not like this. Out of all the scents that Scentsy's ever put out, this is probably my least favorite. And you guys are going to be like, but you have to smell it. And I'm going to for you guys. But you're going to see an expression that you don't want to see again. I do not like weathered leather. I've never liked it. There's been occasions with this scent that has been just not good. Okay. Yep, still don't. Oh. <laughs> still don't like it. I think it's worse. I think it is. I do. Oh. Sorry. But it's like old leather jacket that sat down in your basement for a couple of years and it's kind of like starting to rot and fall away. And maybe, you know, when you were out riding your motorcycle, you spilled some oil on it and you threw that in there with it. That is just, oh my God, we've had stories with that stuff. But when we did events and it, at that bar, we always packed those separate because people loved them. That was like, okay, whatever your thing. Um, if it got in with a bar of like sweeter smelling stuff, it literally smelled like something died in that box. So yeah, we don't... Okay, vanilla mint. I've never smelled this one. 
I really hope it takes that horrible smell out of my nose that I can still smell. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I'd go put that in a warmer now. It's minty and vanilla-y, and that's exactly what it is. It is really nice. It didn't fully cover out that weathered leather yet. We're hoping we could find something to cover that. Autumn Sunset, this is a stronger one, so hey, we, we have hope here. Um, this one I've smelled before. Yeah, very cinnamony, a lot of clovey smells. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, take that leather away. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but oh, I don't like that smell. Oh, yeah, I love Autumn Sunset. It's, again, it just smells like um, cinnamon sticks and cloves and ginger you know maybe a little bit of those dried leaves it's just it's amazing all right on to the next clove and cinnamon which is gonna be similar it just smells like cloves and cinnamon and it's this one actually like autumn sunset this is more cinnamony this one's more clovey so depending on what you like all right we have welcome home and again i've smelled this one it's pretty standard yeah, it's just got kind of like uh, grandma was making oatmeal cookies. That's what it smells like to me. Or if I was making oatmeal cookies. I'm not a grandma yet, but, you know, hopefully someday. Snowberry. Love this one. This one I've had before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just got that fresh, like, almost, I don't want to say minty, because it's not really minty. It's just really fresh and, like, crisp. And then it's got that berry in there, so that's a good one. Keep it rolling. Here we go. Coconut lemongrass. Again, old standard. Yep, got your coconut smell. You got the lemongrass smell. I like it. I love coconut, though. So for me, you, know, you either love coconut or you hate it. And I'm a love coconut person, so I love eating coconut, even. I mean, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Newborn nursery. It smells just like baby powder. Still does. <laughs> Not my favorite. I'm not a big fan. But, you know, if that's something that you like, some people do love that smell. Okay, this one is Slay All Day. Never heard of it. Never smelt this before. Okay, let's clear my nose a little bit. Hmm. It's nice. It's a hard to describe, though. It's really hard... It's got that fresh kind of smell again, but there's like almost a warmth that comes through in the back. It's different. I don't know. I like it. I would love to have it warm just to see how it, that opens up on it. Saddle up. Oh, gosh. I'm just thinking horses and leather. <laughs> For some reason, I mean, I know those of you that love horses, I'm not a fan of horses. I got bit by a horse as a child in the butt, and I couldn't sit for like a week so okay not a fan of horses sorry if you love horses it's just my thing but the thought of smelling a horse and leather together brings back really bad memories of weathered leather from a few minutes ago so we will see Whew, okay here we go okay it's not bad it is nothing like weathered leather i'm not sure what the I mean, I know there's like an oil they use on, on saddles. I wonder if it ain't that. It's kind of like that scent. Again, I'm not versed in horses by any means at all, other than as a young child getting bit by one. Okay, here we go. Next, breakfast in bed. Oh, that'd be nice, but let's see what this smells like. <laughs> okay, it smells like French toast and syrup. It's exactly what it smells like to me. French toast and syrup. Not something I'd probably warm myself, but it's not bad. I'll try to get the cover back on here. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Um, maple apple bourbon. Mmm. Let's drink this. Here we go. Alright, hang on. I gotta clear my nose a little bit. The French toast thing was is just still there. Oh yeah, that's nice. I mean you do, you smell the maple. Maple is the strongest out of here. You're catching that maple, a little bit of apple, maybe a little bit of bourbon. I'm thinking warmed, it'll open it up more, and you'll smell that other stuff more too. But it's definitely maple is the strong scent in that one. It's not bad though. Pumpkin roll. This is standard fall one again. Yep. It smells like pumpkin cake with cheesecake frosting. 
Crunchy's boss thing. All right. Um, squeeze the day. I'm assuming this is going to be some kind of lemon. Oh, yeah. Mm. I like lemon. It smells like, um, like lemon fudge. <laughs> Sorry, it does. It's very lemony, but it's got like a vanilla background to it as well. It's nice. I like it. All right, we have I'm Snow Over It. Oh, yeah, that'll be me in January. We get the amount of snow as we usually do. Oh, but I like this one. Mm, it smells like a very light version of Luna to me. Mm -hmm. It's very fresh, and it's 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 just, it does. It's, it's almost like Luna, but really toned back. So if you like Luna, but you're thinking it's a little strong, that would be a good one for you. Let's see, Be Merry. I think I've smelled this one. I'm not sure. But it's not very merry to me. I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. It's got a lot of pine in it. Maybe like a cranberry or something? It's weird. Maybe warm dip would be better. Not my favorite. I'm not, I mean, it's nowhere near weathered leather. So we're, we're not in that kind of zone. I should create a, like a, a chart that goes from one being, or zero, minus zero, negative zero, whatever. Weathered leather the worst, all the way up to like 10 where I like the best. And do a thing on that. I'll have to do that for the next round of of scents that come out. Ooh, honey pear cider. Love this one. Always love this one. This one's a good one. Try to get it. Oh, okay. This one's like okay. There we go. I was like maybe this one's blue chuck. Oh yeah. It smells like a really nice warm cider, um, with some pear in there and the honey. And it's just it's a nice. I mean, it, it's like you smell it. And you go ah. Oh, I just feel like sitting in front of a fireplace with a cup of cider. That's just how you feel when you smell that one. Okay, let's see. Black raspberry vanilla, which is a standard again. I don't have that much smell to it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just it smells like raspberries and vanilla to me. Very good. Yeah, old, old standby. All right, Eskimo Kiss. I've smelled this one before, too. I love it. It's, it's, um, I don't think it is here, but, it, you know, it does have maybe that little bit of mint in it, and it's got that freshness again, a little sweetness. You know, a lot of these have a lot of the same characteristics. They're just different levels of strength of them, I guess is what you're going to say. But yeah, really, that was a good one. Lemon verbena. I've smelled this one before. Very much smells like lemon verbena. It's, it's a good fresh scent. It really is. Alrighty, we have Around the Campfire. This one I've not smelled. This I'm assuming is going to have some smoke smell. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, like seriously, I wonder if this would set your smoke detectors off. This smells exactly like a campfire. I mean, that's crazy how they did that. I would have sworn that I had like smoking, like a piece of wood here burning. So if you want that smell, like if you have a fake faux fireplace, and you kind of want that smell with your Christmassy thing going on, and um, you know maybe put on put it also on a different warmer, some pine or something like that. Whatever your scent pre preference is for the holidays, and put a little bit of this on, your kids will think you have a fireplace going. I mean seriously, or anybody else that comes in, be like, when did you get a fireplace? Because it smells exactly like that. Okay, best in snow. Oh, <laughs> this should be fun. Oh, that's nice too. This one has almost like, it's weird because it almost smells like juicy fruit gum, but not quite. Maybe that would, like a little bit of like a laundry cleaner smell. It's got that fruity smell kind of in there too, but like a laundry, but a lighter. It's not like super strong, like clean breeze where that stuff is like, okay, it, you've got something going. Christmas cactus. I've not smelled this one. I'm not sure what a Christmas cactus is supposed to smell like. I mean, I've had them before and I never thought they'd smell like anything. It's nice, so it's fairly light. It's got that green kind of scent, you know, like, you know, grass or something like that would have. But it's with a little bit of, you know, sweetness to it. It's nice. It's very nice. 
Okay. Clothesline. Hmm, never smelt this one. Whoa. I shouldn't have taken such a big whip of this. It's like downy. It's <laughs> seriously, it's like downy or snuggle. One of those standard like fabric softener smells. I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's that's exactly what it smells like to me. And that's not a scent I'm putting out. Caramel apple craze. Okay. I gotta try to clear out the clothesline here. Okay, yep, yeah, smells like apples. But more caramel I get out of it than apple. At the top here. Oh yeah, now I smell pepper. See, sometimes, it, you know, when they pour them and then the, they get sealed in there like that, the scent kind of gets stuck in there. You rub it a little bit, open it up. Yeah, you get the apple now more, and you get a little bit of that caramel. It's actually nice. I love apple scents, so. though. Okay. Blue Grotto. I smelled this one before. Yeah, just... I'm trying to think. It's a... Uh, Oh, no it's it's very it's again it's a fresh scent it's got that like whatever they would call like that rainwater scent to it so that's definitely you know we've got quite a few left here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break right here for now give my sniffer a little bit of a break because i've gone through quite a few and then i will come back and i will have a part two so watch for part two if i'm being put up on a different day um but 20 some minutes in here and we still got about half left I think we should do this in two parts. So anyway, thanks guys for joining me. And again, if you want to get your own sense to smell, you can join my team and um, get an amazing kit that has all this stuff in it, plus a lot more for $99 in shipping and tax. If you have been a, con a Sensi consultant before and left like I did and decided to come back like I did as well, um, feel free to reinstate under my team. I would love to have you. It's like we kind of do this journey together because, again, I've, I've been there where I've had the team of 100 people and been a director and everything, so I'm back. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.